This was amongst the last public images of Rakesh Dhunjunwala earlier this month at the launch of his airline Akasa Air. The big bull of the stock market was all set to turn entrepreneur for the first time in his career, bankrolling a low-cost airline. But he was confined to a wheelchair. The signs of poor health that would dramatically cut short his soaring ambitions. Essentially, I think what we have. Junjunwala's rise was a stuff of stock market legend. Born the son of a tax official and trained as a chartered accountant, he started dabbling in stocks in his twenties. Over the next four decades, amassing a portfolio estimated at $5.8 billion as per Forbes, ranging from jewelry makers to healthcare stocks, making him, according to Forbes, the 36th wealthiest Indian. His biggest investment in Titan, owning just over 5% along with wife Rekha of the stock. In the process, becoming an iconic figure for India's growing middle class. Investors who would follow his every move, always looking for tips from their guru. Don't forget one thing, the bull run in equity market. So what would you say to these, these newer entrants coming into the stock market? What's your advice for them? Have confidence in India. Invest carefully, don't be greedy. Okay. Right. Be fearful when it is needed. Good luck. Make money. Be happy. <laughs> Have faith in India. Okay. But that's a very general piece of advice, Rakesh. Give them something more specific. Boss, you nobody can make wealth on borrowed knowledge. Okay. My biggest advice is have an attitude of reasonable return. Right. If debt can give you five, six percent, you should you know equity if it gives you twelve to eighteen percent, you should be very happy. So have an attitude <coughs> of safety. Mm. Take professional advice. Okay. Right, and don't invest on rumors. Brand Rakesh was bolstered by his blunt, outspoken nature, never hesitant to defend India's markets, even in a slump, like in this interview to us amid the pandemic. This is the typical, uh, you know, birth of a bull market where you have a change and changing country. Okay. Where you have a deep fall for whatever reason, mm. right, and. Everybody is perplexed by the rise. Okay. There is no manipulation in the markets. Markets are genuine. And don't please compare India to America. Tomorrow, American markets may fall. Hmm. They have the highest level of corporate profits to GDP. India has the lowest level of corporate profits to GDP. Okay. They have very low exposure to equity. You know, in India, we have they have very high exposure to India or to equity. Thirty-two percent of American household wealth is equity. India is five percent. Fair enough. So I India think the markets, still... the markets are looking to the future. You are looking to the past. Rakesh's passion for the markets was only equaled by his passion for his family. His company Rare drew from the first two initials of his name and wife Rekha's. In the year 2009, he and his wife welcomed twin boys after having given birth to their daughter in 2004. Of late, Rakesh had become a big champion of Prime Minister Modi. The PM acknowledging his passing in a tweet, as did a host of business and political leaders, including Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Kotak Mahindra CEO Uday Kotak, and Biocon's Executive Chairperson Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, among several others. Questions now loom over the future of the airline he founded. In a statement, Akasa Air said, "We at Akasa cannot thank Mr. Junjunwala enough for being an early believer in us and putting his trust and faith in us to build a world-class airline. For now, he will be remembered for living life on his own terms." Here is an invitation to his 60th birthday from two years ago, fashioned on the iconic poster of the Godfather. Rakesh Junjunwala will be remembered as an eternal optimist and a passionate investor who was a role model for millions of investors. Sakshi Bajaj for NDTV.